Hello everybody, Robert Anthony here from Mac Tuts Plus. Mountain Lion is here, and man is it awesome. Mountain Lion seamlessly integrates into the Apple ecosystem by bringing a host of features that first appeared in iOS, Apple's mobile operating system. And with iCloud being fully integrated, your iPhone, iPod Touch, iPad, and now your Apple computer truly act as one cohesive whole. One great feature that made its way into Mountain Lion is notifications which first appeared in iOS as Notification Center. Notifications work in much the same way as the iOS version, with some enhancements to be more practical on a desktop computer. Notifications live behind the right side of your screen and can be accessed from anywhere inside a mountain lion. Here on the desktop, you'll notice a new icon on the right-hand side of the menu bar. This is the new Notifications icon. Clicking the notifications icon will slide your screen over to the left and reveal notification center. Clicking the notifications icon again will slide the screen back to the right and cover up notification center. You can also click anywhere inside of the desktop area while inside notification center to close it. If you have an Apple Magic trackpad, there's also a swiping gesture that will give you access to notification center. This will also work if you're inside of an app in full screen mode where the menu bar is not visible. If you swipe with two fingers on the rightmost side of the trackpad like this, you will reveal notification center. Clicking the desktop area again or swiping with two fingers to the right on the trackpad will take you back to the desktop. Finally, hitting the escape key while inside notification center will take you out as well. Notification Center will display a wide range of notifications like email, calendar events, missed FaceTime invites, messages, reminders, and social media alerts like Twitter mentions and direct messages. Facebook integration is set to come out in the fall, which will presumably be integrated into notifications as well. To set up Notification Center preferences, you can click on the little gears icon in the lower right corner, or you can get to it by going to Apple, System Preferences, Notifications. The Notifications Preferences window is pretty straightforward. On the left side, you have a list of every app that can use Notification Center. It's broken into two sections, In Notification Center, and if you scroll down to the bottom of the list, Not in Notification Center. If you don't want an item to show inside of Notification Center, you can simply click and drag it below the Not in Notification Center area. I want this to show inside of Notification Center, so I'll drag it back up. You have the option of how notifications are sorted inside of Notification Center. Manually, we'll sort notifications inside of Notification Center in the order that you have them here in the Preferences. You can change the order by clicking and dragging them around. Sorting them by time will show notifications in a chronological order inside of Notification Center, regardless of the order in the Preferences window. In order to use this Share button, as well as the Twitter notifications, you'll need to sign into Twitter inside of OS X by going into the System Preferences, Mail, Contacts, and Calendars. Clicking on a name will allow you to log in. This is also more than likely where you will go to log into Facebook when it's integrated into Mountain Lion. Back to notifications. In the right side of the preferences window, you will see the various options for the selected application. The options are the same for the most part for every app, but Twitter does have an extra options button here, which will let you show or hide notifications for mentions and direct messages. There are three options for the alert style you get when you get a notification. This pretty much mirrors how the iOS notifications work. You can have none, which will give you no alert, but will still show inside of Notification Center. Banners will give you an alert in the upper right hand corner of your screen and a fly away after a few moments. Alerts are like the first iteration of notifications in iOS, which require an action before they will go away, either dismissing the alert or viewing the alert. Here below the alert style, you have three options. You can set how many items will show inside of Notification Center from this drop down here. Badge app icons will show you a little red badge on the app icon with the number of alerts inside of the badge. Play sound will do just that and it will play a sound when a new notification arrives on screen. One more notification preference I want to show you is inside of mail. 
In the Mail Preferences under the Generals tab, there's a drop-down for which email you want to show notifications for. Inbox only, VIPs, which is a new label you can apply in Mail, Contacts, which will show you notifications only for email accounts that are assigned to someone in your contacts. And finally, all mailboxes, which will show you all your email. So what I want to do now is I want to show you some notifications in real time. I have an iPad I borrowed, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to send myself some messages, and we'll see the notifications in action. First, I'll send myself a message. I have messages set to show me a banner which will come on screen, stay for a few moments, and then fly off screen. So I'm sending the message now, and there's the banner telling me I have a new message from one of my family members, and then it's gone. Also, if we go into Launchpad, we can see the badge telling me I have one new notification for that app. If we go into Notification Center, we can see the notification. Notifications are grouped by app, with a divider bar telling you what app the notification is for. If you click on a notification, it will open the associated app. If you want to dismiss the entire notification group, you can click on the X on the right side of the divider bar. This will dismiss all notifications for that app. Okay, next, I'm going to call myself on FaceTime. I have FaceTime alerts set to alerts, which will stay on screen until you perform an action to either dismiss it or view it. So I'm going to call myself and I'm going to end the call on the iPad to make it a missed call on my iMac. Okay, so we have a missed call alert, and as you can see, it's staying there. I can view the missed call, or I can dismiss the alert by hitting close. If I hit view, it will open the associated app, in this case FaceTime, and once again show me to the world. If we go back to Notification Center, we can see that it's starting to populate with our notifications. Okay, I'm going to send myself a direct message from one of my Twitter accounts to the account that I am logged in on in Mountain Lion. If you are logged into Twitter, you can get notifications on Twitter statuses, like mentions and direct messages. And there's the alert showing me I have a new direct message on Twitter. If you click show, it will actually launch your default browser and take you to Twitter. I'm going to close that because I want to show you how you can tweet right from Notification Center. If you click where it says click to tweet, you will get a familiar window. Mountain Lion will use your friends list in Twitter and will autofill any names that you type after an at sign. I'm going to send my brother a tweet because I haven't shut up to him about how awesome Mountain Lion is. Click send and your tweet is sent. Finally, if you ever need to temporarily turn off notifications, you can scroll all the way to the top of the notifications list. You will see an iOS style on off switch. Turning the switch to the off position will disable all notifications. Notice that the notifications icon in the menu bar has grayed out as a quick way to tell if your notifications are on or off. Turning it back on will re-enable notifications and display any new notifications you received while disabled. You can also option click the notifications icon to toggle between on and off. Notification Center is a great productivity enhancement inside of Mountain Lion. It's probably safe to assume that Notification Center is going to replace other widely used notification utilities on the Mac. I hope you're feeling more up to par using notifications. This is Robert Anthony for MacTuts Plus, showing you the ins and outs of Notification Center inside of OSX Mountain Lion. Thanks for watching. Bye.